I'm very happy and delighted to join you today on this very beautiful site for the 2024 Annual World Wetlands Day. This year's Wetlands Day carries the theme of wetlands and human well-being and it fits in very well with my ministry's 10-year National Landscapes and Ecosystem Restoration Strategy, um, ably led by His Excellency. Uh, President William Ruto, where we are working to grow 15 billion trees by the year 2030. And in this strategy, one of our main intervention areas, and we have 11 of them, is the protection of wetlands. Um, and that makes me happy to be here today, and in no other site than this very historic uh, Timboroa uh, Lake Narasha. I am informed that Lake Narasha is one of Kenya's key bird sanctuaries, but the population and species of birds has reduced significantly over the years due to its shrinkage and pollution of its waters. Wetlands are the silent guardians of our health as they provide oxygen, which is essential for our survival and mitigation of climate change. The same way we say that our forests are the lungs of the earth. The wetlands therefore become the kidneys and we need to take their protection very seriously. And I can assure all the stakeholders here that we must finish what we start. With the fencing, it needs to end uh, in good time. Ours might not be a very uh, heavy gauge fencing, but at least it will keep away the animals and a lot of movement within the wetlands. But we must step in immediately to have a very holistic plan for the water and traffic to make sure we have water troughs in the end of the inje, ili ngombe waweze kupata maji, na wanainchi pia waweze kupata maji in a sustainable way. Let us bring everybody on the table. The Ministry of Water, the county government, we have the CCs here. I know Governor will assign us the right people. We sit on the table, pull our resources together, so that come next year, World Wetlands Day, we will be marking Lake Narasha as a success story of what we've been able to achieve 